Hello everyone, it's Patty, and today I'll be sharing with you my latest uh, planner setup, which is of this gorgeous Aura Estelle planner. This is a scarlet personal wide planner. It's a hybrid planner, so it has rings, but it also has strings. And the color is Cherry Blossom. Now, as soon as I received uh, the May sub box from the Planner Society, I knew that I had to set it up using this beautiful planner, which is actually a gift, so I won't be using it, but I'm sending it to a friend. And this is just like the perfect match. Um, this is kind of the color scheme of the box. There's a lot of nudes, uh, soft pinks, and I just thought that it would be, you know, it will look stunning in here. So um, let me start by opening up and sharing with you uh, my setup, which is actually more of, a, I would say, minimalist kind of setup than what I usually do. And the reason being that I thought that the color is so soothing it's kind of a calming tone of pink and I wanted to kind of match that um, you know the design to let the um, kind of like the design of the the paper speak for themselves in a way but as you can tell, I am basically doing tone on tone on a lot of it. So here on the side, we have these beautiful, um, you know, pockets that are, you know, um, Tiki from Oristel gives us a ton of pockets. So here on the top, I have just a little, um, this cute little, let me show you. These are very old page flags that I've had forever that are from Target. I always hoard them and I'm glad I did because, you know, they always come in handy. So I just stuck them in there. They're just purely, uh, you know, um, decorative. I don't use them. Then I have uh, this paper clip from Southern Mess Designs. And then here I have uh, one of the uh, Planner Society little washi cards uh, which actually had a bow on the top the, the the bow did not match the color scheme perfectly so i just trimmed the, the bow off and i made it a little slimmer because the card slots are a little slimmer and then i have used the um the washi from the kit but i also added this rose gold clear bow um uh, washi that uh, Christy had released earlier on and so I thought it was matching perfectly and then I have this little bow from K and Co XOXO and then here I wanted to put a little uh, you know sticky note because I really love to use sticky notes on this little pocket but the sticky note that came in the kit did not fit inside this uh, square so what i did is i went back and i found this kit this actually uh this little uh sticky notepad from an older kit from the planet society and because i wanted to match i mean this is kind of matching but just because i wanted to be extra i uh got one of the die cuts from the kits uh, from the kit and just attached it over here to, with a little um paper clip and so it kind of now it's a perfect match for real <laughs> So um, starting on the, the design, I did my usual three sections as I always do. And uh, the first one here, it's using an acetate with like a rose gold because the, um, the metal, I guess, of the uh, theme is of the, um, of the sub box is rose gold. And I put on top of here um, a little, um, this is actually was a keychain from a kit from Simply Gilded. I removed the velvet bow and I just attached it with some tape. And I love the way it looks right on top of the, uh, um, the little rainbow that's right under it and then as you can see so this is a very simple minimalist kind of design although there are layers it's very simple it's very uh, soothing um, the, this is the paper from the kit that is my favorite paper as the beautiful rainbows and this is one of the little cards that came with the kit it says come as you are and as you can tell it had rose gold so I matched a rose gold with um, this paper from Michael which is just a kind of like a me metallic paper and then I layered it on a little glitter paper it's it's almost invisible you kind of can't tell it it's a very subtle um, um, you know glitter paper that's white always from Michaels then I put some little um, highlights here in the corner always from Michael a little bow from Hobby Lobby and then this little bow from a previous kit from Christy and here on the side now if I had had matching uh, glitter edgers from Christy, I would have used them because you know that I love her, <laughs> love her um, 
glitter edgers but I ran out of them and so uh, what I did I just used this lace trim that I got from Michaels and it's super cute I had actually had to rip it out a little bit from a previous kit um, that I set up but basically it's just lace trim now it's not as beautiful as the glitter edgers and so if I had glitter edgers I would have used those but I think it looks very pretty and then uh, for the uh, inserts I have used these inserts from Annie Annie Plans and uh, her inserts are my favorite as I always say it and this is kind of like the setup now again I'm, I'm doing this for a friend so um, I've given her this insert because this is kind of my style so I like uh, one page you know one day per page I liked it timed and dated and I like to have here enough to put my little you know boxes etc and I'll actually show you tomorrow um, how I used the new um, kind of mini boxes kit that Christy has released and it's perfect for this because if you have like a personal this is a personal one so it, you know it's still a little less room that I'm used to because I usually uh, use a b6 so but this is a gorgeous uh, um, insert from Annie and I absolutely uh, love it and then here in the back uh, for the back of the page, I have used uh, one of these lace pockets uh, that Christy has given us in previous uh, kits. And I don't know if you can tell, but because I just wanted to add a little bit of a 3D effect, I used uh, these little um, uh, dots that, of course, now I don't have with me because I forgot. Sorry about that, guys. But they're basically little liquid dots as you can tell them so you just make little dots on them you let them dry for um, 24 hours and they become hard it's because it, I wanted to create a little bit of a 3d effect there in rose gold I put a little bow and then in here I just have some of the stickers from the kit stickers from previous kits and then another one of the washi uh, samplers over here then this is the back of uh, the um, acetate and I just put a, a bow from Fox and Pip in rose gold. And then here is my first uh, uh, washi uh, dashboard. I made three of these. I actually like the setup for rings. I like to have them um, multiple ones um, just because I like them as a transition between different papers and these are all washi from the planner society and this is the one that i was mentioning to you so this is the clear one that was released earlier by christy and then here i have a little sticker from simply gilded and these are laminated and they'll last forever then uh, the next one is another acetate from a previous kit it has this kind of leopard uh, print in rose gold and i have put this dream i don't know if you can see it it's a dream decal from uh, uh, virgo and uh, uh, paper and i got it a long time ago on etsy and then here's the second um second dashboard again very simple i just kind of like to transition you know like from the same kind of color scheme to the same similar color scheme so it's the same set it set up it says grow and gratitude again metal backing a uh, metal you know metallic paper backing and then glitter um, so same exact thing and for this insert uh, i added the monthly insert from always from any and uh, so this gives you basically a whole month and then you have some notes in the back so this is through the end of the year and then for the back here i have one of the pockets the sticker pockets from christy with rose gold bows with some of the deco stickers that came with the kit and then i put one of the um the rainbows on 3d dots just to add a little you know 3d effect and then this is uh, the, uh, the the other side of uh, the acetate and uh, this time i put a metal uh, this is actually you know, metal uh, decal from once more with love it's rose gold and i've been wanting to use it for a long time and it kind of matches so here is another one of the washi dashboards same exact thing and then here is the vellum which is this is the vellum that matches uh, the main paper of the kit or at least main to me because it's my favorite with the rainbows and i put another decal from virgo and paper it says plan it's very subtle so just like to s keep it simple keep it calming keep it you know kind of a like soothing kind of atmosphere here and then this is the last of the um last dashboard i really love this paper i was kind of bummed out to have the cover because 
I just love this pattern, this vertical irregular lines with horizontal white lines across it. And then I just love this journaling car, Seek Happiness. It's just very, very um, beautiful. And then for this uh, last insert, this is just a list. It's the bow list, always from Annie. And uh, I just think it's, uh, you know, again, I'm making it for a friend, so I'm thinking what she would use. And this is something that I would definitely use because, um, you know, it's very convenient. It's got a lot of room. I go through a lot of list pages. And then for the back, here is uh, the little notepad that came um, in the kit. And as you can tell, it's another rainbow with uh, some uh, rose gold embossed little stars. And then here I have uh, um, added uh, another one of uh, the uh, Chrissy's uh, 3D kind of like stickers that I actually had to stick out from a previous uh, kit because I just thought that it would look so pretty there. Then I have the back of the vellum and this time, this as you can tell, it's, there's a decal that says don't touch my planner. Um, and uh, this is also by Virgo and Paper. And then uh, here is uh, the last of the washi uh, dashboards. And then here in the back, let me move it right along. So this is the notepad that came in the kit and it's so perfect. So because it didn't necessarily fit the size, I just cut down the back of the, the um, you know, the, uh, the notepad. And so now it fits perfectly in the little pocket. And then here I have the beautiful pen from the kit. So that is it guys. So this is a really quick, uh, you know, flip through. This was super easy to do, super simple, middle minimalist, but still gorgeous. I hope you like it. And if you have any question, please feel free to reach out to me on Instagram at Planning Fancy and via DM. And I always answer all your questions. Hope you have a wonderful week.